Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com here back today with a cryptocurrency video. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Ripple and I wanted to make somewhat of, you know, an updated price prediction on XRP because I, I've made, you know, some analysis videos on it in the past and initially I was actually pretty bearish on Ripple overall, but I've definitely changed my mind about it. You know, it's not one of my favorite cryptocurrencies or anything, but I definitely think that it has, you know, some good potential. And yeah, I wanted to talk of kind of where I see the price heading in 2018, the different um, resistance levels that are we'll have to pay attention to moving forward. And I'll go everything uh, in a more detailed technical analysis on TradingView in just a second. But let me start off with kind of, you know, talking a little bit about where Ripple is currently sitting at as far as, you know, the general ranking based on market cap and everything like that. So right now, Ripple is currently at the fourth spot with a market cap of just under $10 million dollars. And, you know, the price is sitting at around uh, 24 cents. So basically to get a 100, uh, for Ripple to reach a dollar, it would have to go up, you know, a little more than 400% currently. And that's definitely a big price increase. It's not going to be easy to do. What you have to realize as well is that there's a lot of competition now for, you know, this top five slash top three ranking. And Bitcoin Cash is, of course, one of the cryptocurrencies that's really kind of made a name for itself recently. And that's been, you know, kind of pressuring Ripple and kind of taking its spot. And of course, we have Dash now that's coming into the race pretty heavily with uh, some, you know, technical technological advances that are also, you know, kind of um, that, that will start, you know, trying to fight for, for that number fourth spot with Ripple and of course, Litecoin as well. And even maybe Monero um, down the line, right? But we have a lot of, of cryptocurrencies that are kind of pressuring Ripple, like I said, mainly Dash, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash, and that's not really a bad thing. That that's not like um, it won't necessarily take away the steam from Ripple. It's just that there is, you know, added competition right now for these higher rankings, and it's not an easy spot to be in. So of course, we'll have to see also in the coming year in 2018, the you know different financial partnerships that Ripple would have. Uh, we'll, we'll you know, um, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, announce maybe some partnership with big banks, etc. Of course, that's the industry that Ripple is working in. And that will definitely affect the price pretty heavily. So you'll have to keep an eye out for that. And of course, we don't know what's going to happen just yet. But that's why we're going to help ourselves with the technical analysis here. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say as far as kind of where um, Ripple is ranking. And basically, what you have to know is, like I said, about a 400% increase now to get to a dollar. And that's going to put the market cap at around $40 billion, right? That means over currently Bitcoin Cash and, you know, just around where, where Ethereum is currently at. So I, I do think that Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum will probably increase as well, you know, moving forward in 2018. So that will leave, of course, Ripple um, a little bit of room to move upwards. But a 400% increase is pretty big. And I'm not saying that's impossible. Um, now let's get into the technical analysis to really kind of explain what I'm seeing here. So... If you've been watching my daily crypto updates, I've been talking, you know, what's been going on with Ripple in the short term and everything. And the main thing that's been happening is <clears throat> a lot of consolidation. Now, it was struggling pretty badly, you know, just a couple weeks ago. Really range bound and everything. And it was in the symmetrical triangle formation, which let me just zoom in maybe a little bit so you can see better. But that's um, these two, this downtrend line right over here and the uptrend line uh, over here, right? So the price was basically trading in between those two trend lines and really finally eventually um, towards the end here was able to break towards the upside which is obviously what we wanted to see and is, that's a bullish sign. And right now it is consolidating a little bit more here struggling to get over this 25 cent mark which is obviously a pretty big resistance level. But um, that's kind of where we're standing right now right. And you know in the short terms the indicators aren't looking too bad the MACD is still uptrending we are moving a little bit lower on that though and on the histogram as well. Um, we're currently above this 59 mark on the RSI, which is, you know, a support level currently. It was previous, previously, of course, a resistance level. So hopefully we won't fall uh, back below that just yet. That really won't be the end of the world. Right now, we just want to make sure that we hold above this downtrend line that we broke out of. And that should be pretty doable at this point. So, you know, I kind of just expect it to consolidate a little bit more around this 23 cent mark. And then eventually, right, break above um, the, the 25 cent area. So let me go ahead and, you know, kind of zoom uh, out of this time frame and go on the long, longer term chart to kind of give you a bigger picture of what's been going on with XRP and, you know, where are we standing right now? So, like I said, we broke out of the symmetrical triangle. You can see this very clearly, right? We got that breakout candlestick over here and now 
uh, the current candlestick where we're out uh, and above this downtrend line. So if we take a look at the indicators right now, we can see that we have, um, what I find really interesting is the MACD currently. So <clears throat> uh, what's happening right now is we are downtrending on the MACD, but there is um, some, some nice signals in the making right now. So just to give you maybe a little technical analysis tip, what's very common for you know this type of move is when the, the MACD has been downtrending for a long time, the first time it comes back and tests the orange line, it usually fails that. And that's exactly what we saw happen uh, this time around. With that being said though, it usually uh, relatively quickly comes back around and ends up uh, being able to break above that orange line the second time around, right? And it looks like that's gonna be happening relatively soon. So that's definitely a good thing. And you know, it's holding a, a pattern that's pretty popular, like I said, where it fails that first time and the second time it actually is able to break through. That will obviously mean that we should see a price increase, right? Um, combined with that. So right now it's actually looking pretty good. Now let me just fix up these um, trend lines over here. And what we're currently seeing is a, a an uptrend on the RSI, uh, sorry, on the histogram now that's been going on for you know a while. And that's gonna be this uh, uptrend line right over here. So the histograms have been uptrending for a while now. That's obviously a good sign and <clears throat> It should continue to do so until you know we, we finally turn positive and then we should really start to see the, the price kick back into action. Um, and I'm going to get to you know wh what I think will happen to the price in just a second. I just wanted to talk a little bit about you know what's going to be going on with the indicators. As far as the RSI goes, you know there's going to be a little bit of resistance in this uh, near this 60 line and even a bit higher to be more accurate. You know maybe around um, 65 cents all the way up to you know around 66. Sorry, that that's not cents. That's just the the markers on the trend line. Uh, sorry, on the RSI, and but more importantly, you know, we'll, we'll may, mostly want to see a break above the 60 line and especially the 70 line, of course. That's the big one to know when we get a big breakout, like we did over here, right? We broke above the 70 line and we got a massive breakout. So that's kind of what, um, you know, breaking above the 70 line represents a lot of strength and power uh, in a stock or a cryptocurrency, basically. So MACD is looking really good right now. I, I like this formation a lot, and I hope you understood what's happening right now. And we're, we are flattening out and even moving back now, hooking back towards the orange line. So in the short term, it is looking really good as well. And I do expect it to consolidate a little bit more maybe, but uh, pretty soon here we should see you know a break above this 25 cent mark, and then that'll be the new support level. Now, unfortunately, what we want to see here moving towards a dollar is going to be a break of this all-time high that's currently at 50, uh, 45 cents. And that corresponds to this candlestick over here, right? So what you have to realize is moving forward, there is quite a bit of uh, resistance, unfortunately, for Ripple. And that's because, you know, it's been downtrending for a while now, got a few spikes. So all of those put in um, a lot of resistance levels. And one of the big ones is, of course, going to be at this 30 cent area where we have a lot of previous candlestick highs. And that's obviously going to be a hard level to break through. It's also pretty messy, you know, in between the 25 cents to the 30 cent range. But that shouldn't be too problematic. There will be a couple resistance levels, though. You know, around 28 cents, it looks like there's going to be something. But mainly, you know, we'll want to see a break of the 25 cent mark, probably more consolidation after that, and then eventually a break of this 30 cent mark. And, you know, even moving forward, there are, you know, some peaks here from previous candlesticks that will be somewhat problematic moving forward. Just something to realize, you know, around 32 cents. Uh, etc etc you know as we move up 34 cents same thing there's some resistance there so that's just something to notice um, it may not be major but the final one will be this 36 cent mark where after that you know it's pretty much clear all the way to the all-time highs right <clears throat> and that's that's gonna be a good thing now how do I see this all playing out and do I think you can reach a dollar and everything well I, I think that one thing that I'm pretty certain of is that we will get a test of the all-time highs so 45 cents I think it'll probably even go and test 50 cents, to be honest. So, you know, that would be about a 100% increase. And that seems pretty likely to me in 2018. Now, will it go higher than 50 cents? Will it start climbing towards 75 cents? You know, those are levels that it hasn't reached yet ever before. And will it even go and climb towards a dollar, uh, go over a dollar even? That starts becoming a little more unlikely. Now, what you have to realize is as soon as we're able to break above this all-time high and, you know, hopefully break above and hold uh, above 50 cents, it starts becoming more and more likely that we will see, you know, a test of that $1 area. Will that happen in the next year, though? That becomes a little bit, um, you know, harder. Now, if we break about 50 cents, there's a pretty 
fair chance that we're able to go and hit 75 cents, but that is going to be a pretty hard level to break above. And, you know, if we're able to do that, of course, we could see the price hit a dollar, even go slightly above that. But even if it were to do that, it would probably only go a little bit above a dollar. And I think that would be a very big increase to hold, considering, you know, the fact that Ripple is a large market cap cryptocurrency and is one of the big, uh, more established names out there. You know, it just becomes harder to get those massive, you know, multi hundred percent um, increases within a year. It just becomes more and more unlikely, right? So what I would say for Ripple is I, I do think we're going to see it move higher now moving forward. Um, you know, in the next couple months, it'll probably start climbing towards that 36 cent mark. Probably get a breakout above that, go and test the all-time highs. And, you know, I think that it could, it could um, definitely move towards 75 cents, probably get a test around that. But overall, I would say I would expect it to be, you know, somewhere maybe between um, 40 cents on the low end and uh, 75 cents on the high end. Really somewhere between probably 60 cents by the end of 2018 would be a, a reasonable, you know, bullish estimate. So probably breaking above 50 cents, probably going to be able to hold above that and test 75 cents, but uh, may not be able to really go much above that after afterwards. So that's kind of where I see Ripple heading in 2018. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on Ripple. Where do you think it's heading, you know, in the next year? Um, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, everyone, I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for uh, more cryptocurrency trading videos. With that being said, though, uh, I really appreciate you watching. And yeah, have a great day, everyone.